When working with big projects in Camtasia, it's always important to have the autosave option enabled. Now, by default, TextMill ships Camtasia with the autosave option enabled. But let's assume that uh, somewhere down the road, you untick that or maybe for some reason, the Camtasia autosave is not enabled, then this is how you can actually manually enable the autosave option in Camtasia. So let's go up to edit and this is Camtasia for Windows, edit, preferences, and from this particular window, you'll see the autosave option. And there's a checkbox that says enable autosave every, and then you choose how many minutes you want to enable the autosave. A minute is good, especially when you're working on a big project. And also below here, you'll see the open autosave folder. And this is obviously in the applications data. And that is where you see all your autosaves if you've been working on a project. Now, this is important, especially when you're working on high resolution files, 4K and all that, or maybe a lengthy project. Your project may crash, but with the autosaves enabled, Camtasia will be able to record and recall where the autosave is and always ask you, did you want to recover or go back to the autosaved project, which is very important. So this is important. You can set the number of minutes that you want. A minute is good. Once you're done, click OK. And you have now enabled autosave in Camtasia. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.